Hello, welcome to the Guitar and Music Institute series on bar chords. This is lesson number three. In the previous lesson, we looked at the different shapes to play bar chords, type six and type five shapes, and we moved them up the, 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 the chromatic scale. Um, what we're going to do in this lesson is come up with exercises based around root movement, which is really important um, in getting you to play bar chords um, as much as you can on the fretboard because at the end of the day you need to strengthen up that first finger um, to get enough strength to push the bar down. Now what I'm going to show you here is a little pattern using the root notes. We're using the root notes on the 6th string and the 5th string as we've discussed. So what I'm going to play here, I'm going to play on fret 1 of the 6th string and the 5th string, F and B flat. I'm going to move up to fret 3 and do the same thing. So what I've got here is a root movement, if you like and I can just keep going up the fretboard. Now what we can now do is we can take any of our shapes, F major, F minor, F7, and follow those root movements. Why don't we just start with the major? So here's F major, B flat major, G major, C major, A major, D major. And you can already hear that there's a certain amount of, of kind of all building blocks, I suppose, if you like, that, that could potentially be involved in a song and create a song. Um, it sounds reasonably nice to the ear. Let's just look at the same thing with minor. I think we'll do this time. I'm going to start up at A this time, just to use different areas in the fretboard. A minor, directly across. D minor. B minor. E minor. C sharp minor. And F sharp minor. And again, the same concept will, will apply. Um, with the seventh chord. Let's just try a different pattern this time. You can come up with your own, you can really go anywhere with these. Remember these are exercises, they don't necessarily have to sound tuneful, but they, they quite often will, especially if you always separate it by just two frets. So let's look at this pattern now. I'm going to go up two frets and to the next string. To the sixth string, two frets higher onto the A string. See the pattern? Now I'm going to use let's, I'm going to use the seventh chords this time just to mix it up a little bit. But again, you should try all the different shapes. Um, so we'll do this. So we're going to start with F seven, a kind of diagonal move if you like, to C seven, directly down, G seven, D seven, and again, I can just keep going up the fretboard. You can, just try and come up with different patterns. What about just doing say fret one, three, one. Three, for example, maybe you can mix up the shapes. So I can go major, minor, major, minor, for example. F major, G minor, B flat major, C minor. And then I could maybe repeat that pattern up the fretboard. Try to come up with your own patterns. Um, anything really goes for this. It's all down to trying to get strength into that first finger. Now, one wee thing I want to add in here. I did say in lesson two, if you were doing a minor chord, say I'm doing G minor here at fret number three, um, is I said not to push down with finger two on that first on that first finger there. However, from experience with teaching guitar, everyone different things work for different people, and it's sometimes hard to say one rule just fits all. So if you find that putting your second finger down, the finger over technique works, then just go for it. Just do it. If it works for you, then just go for it. Um, now the next thing I want to cover in this lesson is getting different sounds from these chords. Um, mainly coming down to a little bit of plectrum technique and a little bit of left hand technique as well. Let's look at major chords first of all. Uh, we'll, we'll use major chords for this and we might get some minor ones in too. A major. So we can, we can choose where we, we don't have to always strum the whole, all six strings. We can choose where we're going to hit the chord. Um, we can be a little bit more on the, the upper strings. some kind of upstroke things there on, on the upper strings. Again, we can more focus on down, on the, on the lower strings. So I'm just directing where my, where my pick's going, really. Maybe something that might fit in with a, a Johnny Cash kind of thing, involving palm mutes. This is maybe a wee bit tricky. I'm going to palm mute into the low E. And what I'm trying to do in the bottom part, I'm selecting the low E strum on the upper strings and then I'm selecting the A string. I can change to the D 
Louise Bell and do that. Not a million miles away from a Johnny Cash kind of rhythm. Um, what about the minor chord as well? Let's say, let's say, let's look at um, E minor. There we go. Maybe we want to try something that's a bit more, say, funky or something like that. Um, a kind of important feature on funk music uh, in funk music is syncopation, which is um, rhythms that are not on the downbeat. One, two, three, four. A bit more based around the upbeat. What I was also doing in that is I was releasing pressure um, on the strings to create muted notes or something, what we call dead notes. So that's just with the minor chord. I suppose typically in funk music you would be looking maybe at more seventh chords, minor sevenths and things like that, but you just want to start getting to grips with the basics first of all and then you can introduce different voicings, different kind of sevenths as, as you go forward. One other wee, wee, wee uh, style that we might want to look at um, and maybe a kind of reggae kind of thing. Reggae music again is a bit of syncopation in there. I'm moving from G major to A minor. So I'm trying to do up strokes on the upper string. So again, this is just helping to give you different sounds from the chords as well. I suppose lastly, Maybe you could think about picking through the chord. And you can come up with loads of different patterns. And again, use your... Use your patterns and things like that, um, and your root movement, um, and apply these different techniques to get different sounds from the chords. Thanks for listening, everyone. Uh, that's the end of lesson three. We'll see you again for lesson four. Thank <laughs> you.